welcome back to another episode of In the Kitchen with Sandy. And today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite um, simple side dishes, uh, recipes, what have you. You don't have to use, eat this just for a side dish. It can be a standalone meal if you're on a low carb diet or what have you. Um, but today we're making just sauteed baby spinach with a little bit of garlic and olive oil, um, some red pepper flakes, and just a slight little tiny bit of bacon grease just for added flavor. Um, this is so amazing, it's so delicious, and it's so easy to make, and just takes a couple minutes to throw together. Um, well, I guess we really don't need to go over the ingredients because I just told you everything that's in it, didn't I? Uh, but what we'll be using today is some, um, I've got some baby spinach here, some nice, beautiful baby spinach. I've got um, some garlic, just roughly chopped, some red pepper flakes, a little bit of uh, bacon grease, bacon drippings, what have you. Don't be afraid to use bacon grease. It is, it's beyond such a pleasurable taste to the palate if you add it to just the right um, things. And then we're gonna use some olive oil and some salt. And that's that's all there is to it. Um, I love greens of any any form. Hell, I could go out there and pick some grass and saute it and this stuff and I'd eat it, I'm telling you, that's the truth. But let's grab the stove and get started so we can hurry up and start eating. I've already added to my pan my um, a little bit of bacon grease and my olive oil. Um, I've got it on about medium to medium high heat. We're going to go ahead and throw in our garlic and our red pepper flakes. You don't need a whole lot of garlic um, with this dish. I, I cannot believe I just I said it. You don't need a whole lot of garlic. I can't. You'll never hear me say that again. I promise you. But um, you don't really need a whole lot of garlic with this. A simple dish because uh, your spinach wilts down quite a bit so if you're looking to make a whole lot of this then you need a whole lot more spinach because it really wilts down now you're just wanting to infuse your um, oil and bacon grease there with this garlic you're not really wanting to fry it because remember when you um, if you fry your bacon grease or your bacon grease if you cook your garlic too long like fry it or what have you and it starts turning brown it gets mm, kind of like a not a really good flavor it, it totally changes the flavor but we're not going to do that so here we go into our hot pan just throw your pre-washed spinach right in there oh my goodness i think it's going everywhere and we are just going to saute this up just for a few minutes just a couple minutes and that's all it's going to take and we're going to do a little salt mm -mm -mm. now we're going to let this go it's going to wilt down just give it a couple minutes um, if you want to speed the process up you could put a lid on it but i don't feel the need to do that um, so we're just going to wilt this down uh, fry it up for maybe two or three minutes max and then we're going to dig in that simple Okay, I want you to look at this. This is all um, that that made. That that big heaping, heaping container. Look at all the juices on there, too. And you want to make sure that you leave those in there. That big heaping container, and this is it. But you know what? I don't have to share, so. Mm. I love spinach. I love spinach. Mm. So healthy, so tasty. Just the right amount of garlic. And if you want to make it even better, you could, you know, sprinkle a little bit of uh, bacon bits or whatever on top of it, crunched up bacon. That would be amazing. Make sure you give this recipe a try. So simple, so easy, low carb, very healthy. Um, it's going to just tantalize your taste buds. So I am so glad to spend this time with you. I hope you enjoy this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.